If you want to know how inherently evil the Labour Party has become under Keir Starmer, not only are they deselecting any candidates that are showing any pro-Palestine support, like there was one candidate whose name I'll put here, was deselected because of tweets she liked in like 2014 uh, about Jeremy Corbyn, uh, some about the Green Party before she joined Labour, and one was a John Oliver sketch about Israel, and they deselected her over those. But also, it, whilst they're deselecting those people, they're actually placing like extreme pro-Israel candidates in Labour safe seats. I'm talking about this guy who for years has been like saying all the Palestinians dying in Gaza are crisis actors. They're not actually dead. They're not real. Uh, he's also was at the forefront of getting rid of Jeremy Corbyn. He has been vocally pushing for Labour to be more pro-Israel. And Labour has decided to put that man in a safe seat for Labour. So when I'm saying fuck the Labour Party, I mean fuck the Labour Party. Uh you know, they could have won this next election like a landslide. They could have genuinely wiped out the Tories completely. Like, I'm talking Lib Dems after the coalition wipeout. But they're not going to because people will not vote Labour. I'm not going to vote Labour. Even if tactically that is probably going to work in my constituency, I'm not going to vote Labour. I'm sorry. And I think many people are also just not going to vote Labour. Will this mean maybe the Tories will pick up maybe 10 extra seats? Yes, but Labour's going to be the biggest party regardless. But they could have wiped out the Tories and they've chosen not to. Why? Probably because of money. Probably because of the Labour Party is now a right-wing party.